<coughs> wow, well, that's a first right off the bat. This Sunday, crew of Barclaxi's 8th Annual Parade will take place. And joining us now to discuss the event, Humane Society of South Mississippi Development Director Katie King and Biloxi Bay Area Chamber of Commerce Director Tina Ross Siemens. And thank you so much for joining us. Good to have you all here. Happy thank you. Good to have this little puppy too, Katie. Is this <laughs> yes. um, part of a litter and is this puppy for adoption, I have to say, before we get started? She is absolutely available for adoption. This is Rosemary. She has a few siblings back at the shelter as well. Ah, oh, she is so cute, <laughs> yes. Well, tell me about the parade, the Paul Raid, uh, Tina. What can people expect who've never experienced this? Before? Okay, well, Sunday, we're hoping, really crossing our fingers, no rain, but it is rain or shine. We are at the Point Cadet Pavilion this year, so we do have a little bit of a shelter under there. Um, 11 o'clock, we can do registration for the dogs for the Paul Raid. 12.30-ish, as soon as we can get the dogs lined up, we're going to parade around the boardwalk at the pavilion. Um, but before we do the parade, we'll have the king and queen announced of the parade and the date maiden duke. Oh, We've fun. got uh, food trucks, we've got a DJ, we've got- Now is that always staff. a surprise, that announcement? Yes, we're okay. keeping it a surprise this year. So um, they raised a ton of donations for our shelter pets. So we're really excited to crown the royal king and queen of Bark Luxie and the maid of Duke. And then they'll lead the um, paw raid off at 1230. Oh, that's great. And um, if people want to attend, now, is it too late for people to bring their pets? No, no, we'll do registration on site. Uh, so the day of between 11 to 12, it's just $20. And then we've already had a ton of people pre-register their pets. So we're hoping for a really good turnout. I guess the main prerequisite for bringing a pet is that it gets along well with other animals. <laughs> yes, and <laughs> remain on a leash and, and collar <laughs> at all times. Um, clean up after your pet. But yeah, we'll have some goodies to pass out to all the participants and it's just going to be a really great time. And we encourage everyone to dress up and bring a decorated wagon or stroller if you have small dogs that, you know, don't do well on a leash. And there'll be lots of costume contests and prizes for the winners of the most festive. Yeah, it's definitely a great event and, and it's really a fundraiser too, right, for the Humane Society? Right, yes. yes. We're, yep. we're happy to partner with the Humane Society and, and bring in the sponsors and the vendors. And um, a little added this year, since we're moved to the Point Cadet uh, Pavilion, the Maritime and Seafood Industry Museum is offering half price admission. Oh, nice. So that'll be something fun to do outside of all the vendors and the, the, the fun that we'll have uh, with all the pups. Well, <laughs> it is Sunday, February 4th, beginning at 11 a.m. Point Cadet in Biloxi. So that's a little bit of a change this year where it's all starting and it should be fantastic. It's always so much fun to see all the dogs dressed up for the parade and guys it's been great having you in here and I hope that little puppy and some of the siblings get adopted soon yes and we'll have adoptables on site Sunday yeah she's precious all right thank you all <laughs> thank so much you. for being here